hey guys welcome back to my channel easy motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in After Effects. Now let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 1080, frame rate is 30, duration is 2.30 seconds. And for the background color, I'll choose Solid Black and hit OK. Choose Grid and Guide option and hit Title Safe Action. Now I'll select my text tool and I'll type on text C over here. Select this text. Press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now whenever you are going to type this text, make sure that you are using the lighter version of the any font you want. And you should add fill and stroke both of them with same color. And for the stroke width, I'll choose one over here. Now press V for selection tool and I'll drag my text over here. Hit Ctrl D, press P for position and I'll add 200 in it just like this and we will follow the procedure several times. Select this text, press Ctrl T. I'll type R over here. E A T I V E. So this is our main word. Now press Ctrl Alt Home to align those anchor points to the center. Choose selection tool and by holding shift, I'll drag them over here. Yeah, now select this text, right click, create shape from text, and we will create shape from text for all our alphabets. So, follow the same procedure for all those text. Yeah, now we don't need those text layers anymore, so I'll delete those text layers. The only thing we need over here is this thing. So now after that, first thing we will do, hit P for position property. Select this position, right click, separate dimensions. Select this one and again and go follow the procedure for all their position properties so it will create a two separate options for x and y position just like this select those text press p and by holding shift i'll drag it at the top and i'll create one position create a keyframe on the y position and x position zoom in go to the four second let's say and i'll drag those over here so as we can see we are getting this kind of stuff now let's say at 1.5 seconds maybe select all the layers and create one keyframe on the x position and go over here let's say here select this layer drag it over here make sure that you are holding shift so it will automatically create keyframes on x and y position of them
in this fit select those text and by holding shift i will drag them over here now what i'll do i'll go few frame forwards and i'll select those two keyframe hit ctrl c and ctrl v ctrl c and ctrl v make sure that you are selecting those two keyframes yep i'll delete this one and now select all those keyframes right click keyframe assistant or time reverse keyframes so if you see now we are getting this kind of stuff now we don't need any keyframe of y position in middle of this so i'll get all the keyframes which are on y position in between them or if you want then you can simply by holding alt increase the duration of those keyframes and you can play around with their position if you want i'll keep them over here now select those keyframes and hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes just like this now after that what i'll do i'll select all those text in the search bar i'll type str oh so it will automatically generate stroke width option of each and every layer and create one keyframe on stroke of each and every one now hit u select all of them make the stroke zero initially for all of them at this point select all of them and make the stroke up to file let's say so it will automatically create a keyframe for all of them if you change the stroke width over here as you can see it will increase if you want to increase a little bit you are free i'll choose something like let's say seven go over here again i'll type 7 so it will create a keyframe at this point i'll make it 0 again so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff now select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph editor and by holding shift sorry select those graph by holding shift i'll drag it over here and i'll drag it over here now if i hit play we will get this kind of animation now we need to make a loop so i'll click on this stopwatch and type loop out expression select this loop out expression hit ctrl a to select this hit ctrl c to copy and alt click on all of them and hit simply hit ctrl v so it will apply our loop out expression on them so i'll zoom this if you want to do this kind of stuff simply hit this escape not escape but this i don't know what symbol it is but as you can see As you can see uh, we don't have uh, the keyframe on the stroke initially and so for that what we'll do select all those layers and make sure you are creating keyframe for the stroke width initially and at the final position at this point and at this point also
now if i hit play we are getting this animation in loop now hit u select all of them press ctrl shift c i'll call it as text and hit ok now after that what i'll do i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll drag this over here so we can see guess what amount we need to cut this composition so as you can see i think this one is proper so i'll go over here and i'll delete this one now select this text press ctrl d few times select all of them by hitting ctrl a alt close bracket to close that composition drag this over here right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok and we'll get something like this now if i hit play you are getting this kind of animations now we need some extra layer over here so we'll adjust that then hit ctrl d hit ctrl d yep select this layer press ctrl alt home not ctrl alt home but con alt close open bracket sorry and i'll move this composition over here now if i hit play we are getting this kind of animation so yep this is our final animation now after that press ctrl y to create one solid background and hit ok and drag this at the bottom go over here right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and apply tint effect on it and you can swap these colors if you want so it will change the color of the composition you can choose any color you want you know if it is white or anything so yep this is our final animation so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates until then stay tuned